you may or may not be familiar with YouTube's community captions feature, which, when still in place, allow viewers to subtitle other people's videos. Whether you're new about it or not, YouTube has decided to end this feature for reasons some consider a little suspect. This article from The Verge captures the outrage felt by many deaf and hard of hearing viewers in the YouTube community. The article is written by Kim Lyons, published July 31st, 2020, just months before the September 28th deadline. As you can imagine, this news caused quite a stir with content creators on the site, most of which are reacting with confusion and just plain disbelief. Without community captions, many have said, YouTube will stifle deaf people's accessibility, and not only deaf people, but also foreign language watchers. Community captioning is when fans of a channel write and upload their own subtitles to a video, whether in the same language as that video or in a different language. Deaf YouTuber Ricky Pointer is leading the charge to keep community captions around. On her YouTube channel, she says that community captions were an accessibility tool that not only allowed deaf and hard of hearing people to watch videos and captions, but also allowed creators that could not afford to financially invest in captions use them. The cost of having a professional captioner subtitle your videos can run up quickly depending on how long your video is, depending on how much you upload or how often you upload, and depending on which caption company you use. That is to say, most small YouTubers can't afford this expense. They need community support. YouTube, on the other hand, highlights the downside of community captions. The fact that caption abuse is rising, where volunteer captioners will add harmful and demeaning subtitles to public videos. Also, the fact that it was rarely ever used and probably not worth the cost of maintaining it also plays into the picture. YouTube still allows all of its users to access auto captions and to sync your own captions or third parties to your video. YouTube said it would also provide certain community caption users in the past free in the past six months a free subscription to the subtitling service Amara. However, many in the deaf community consider community captions a poorly promoted feature, that YouTube didn't make this feature apparent enough for anyone to catch on. There's a petition out there to reverse YouTube's uh, decision that to date has over 500,000 uh, signatures. That's up from 49,000 at the time of this post. Some of the strong opinion that YouTube is making a mistake by complete, completely getting rid of the community feature, the community captions feature rather, even if they intend on bringing it back in the future. The whole point of subtitling cap and captioning is, first and foremost, accessibility for the deaf and hard of hearing. Captions have a great secondary benefit, but accessibility and the functionality of them is uh, by far the most important. By getting rid of community captions, you're not considering the people who rely on them to watch your videos. People who, might I remind you, i.e. YouTube, pay for pre premium subscription services and are active and profitable members for the community. Customers who spend money on your platform and that make that platform money shouldn't be phased out of enjoying its content without having to spend hundreds of on captioning services or hours of time editing one single video.